because something special evolved that you weren't expecting mm. in the uh, Saints Catalan uh, game, the neutrals really got behind the Dragons. So the, the Saints fans were loud and there were lots of them there and they were great and they were cruising to a win and um, clearly they were dominating the, the sound in the stadium. And then you got this impression that, oh, yeah, something might be happening. Oh, right, well, we'll shout for the underdog. And then the underdog becomes the overdog. And even, even at <laughs> Wembley, um, there weren't thousands of people. There, there was a curiosity about Catalan yeah. being there. There wasn't a, a fervent support base for them. Um, but all of the neutrals in the ground, predominantly Leeds and Hull fans, because they were getting ready for their game afterwards, they all got behind the Dragons. Um, and it was great, and and I, I don't know what they felt about it, but it must have been like playing at the Stade Gilbert Brutus for a while. <laughs> um, so that that was fantastic, and and that augurs well for for the grand final because if they do get there, you've got something to hang ticket sales on. So you know, if if it was me now and I was that Super League saying, oh, Ken's told us I'm upset, Catalan might be getting to the final. Or Ken, um, happy Ken. Everyone's second favourite team is the tagline now. I'm still a bit over the Falao thing, but uh, but they, apart from that, they, they were. The, I mean, I think the, the when you're caught up in something as it's happening, oh, yes. you don't really fully appreciate what's happened until you sit down and go, "What just happened?" But I, I'll tell you what impressed me the most about that Dragons revival, Artemorg, because Bench. he uh, his break, which showed no fear. And his brilliant pass off the ground one-handedly when he'd beaten three Saints players uh, to put Dudson in. On that moment, the the realisation that something could be happening turned. So, you know, Dean Farre goes and everyone goes, very nice, lovely, well-constructed try, a bit of a consolation, probably a more fair reflection of the way the game's gone. Well done, Castellan. Castellan. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then oh, yeah. Morg goes, all right. I'm not frightened by this situation. I know we're playing the best defence in the league. I'm going to take them on. <laughs> and it, it, that was brilliant. And suddenly he scores. And then you go, right, well, now it's only one score. So it's Hail Mary time. And anything can happen from a Hail Mary. And, of course, what happens? It's like the, the hat-trick in cricket. Yeah. But that morgue break and youngsters this weekend who've all made a contribution across a range of teams was absolutely fantastic. The Wales Rugby League Twitter must have been asleep to not... Tag us in the Twitter about Gil Dunson. But, uh... The 54th man to score a try <laughs> on a Saturday. <laughs> from from Wales at the Magic Weekend? With well, the ball set up one-handedly by a half-back. It being at Newcastle, let me uh, compare Steve McNamara, super coach that he is, to Sir Bobby Robson, who of course coached at the club level. Statue had a bit more adorns the outside. A bit more success at Ipswich than Steve McNamara had at Bradford, but I think we can accept that. Went to the international job, got close, not quite close enough, left and now has made his name abroad. Who will be the uh, the Jose Mourinho of this? We don't know. Some random French kid's going to be a super coach in the future. But Steve McNamara, whose reputation wasn't great when he had the England job, even though he did a good job. Well, even at the start of his Catalan tenure. And now he's, he's won two or three. I think the, um, the patience that they've shown with him um, has been rewarded the fact that there are now significant French players coming through and uh, clearly he has established a template that, that was a bit more formulaic in the early years to, to lay that platform um, the fact that they've come over here so often during Covid and at their expense, you know, it almost feels right that not only should they get the League Leader Shield as a reward, and, and I, I hope they get nine, ten, eleven thousand at the, the Brutus on Saturday evening to, to just see it presented, because when you think that they won the Challenge Cup, what happened on the back of that? They went and played in Barcelona in front of the highest Super League crowd we've had for a domestic game. Um, they've won the League Leader Shield, Lake Keeper reporting it, you know, it's, it's almost as if if Toulouse, who won their league leader shield as well, perhaps do get promoted, um, we can talk about a changing of the guard a little bit. But yeah, was it the seventh different league leader shield in nine years? And we don't make enough of it, and we should. 
now they've got to make it to Old Trafford and win because too many of those have not gone on and done that. Um, I saw some people saying that their uh, victory is tainted in so much as that um, COVID and stuff, but they've played 21 games this season. Yeah, which more, is more only than the two teams yeah. that are likely to be chasing them for the grand final. Yeah, only Wigan, Leeds, Wakefield and Huddersfield have played more. So I don't really understand that. And, and they're the team that, again, a couple, on at least one of those occasions, a, a side couldn't come to them. I think they've been exemplary this year in the way they've gone about it. And I, I don't think we can say the same for Toulouse. I know people are going to say, well, they've only played 13 compared to... Well, that's the inequality of their league. Mm. That's because it's part-time. Gallic and shrug of time. shoulders. And um, part-time teams were told they, didn't, they couldn't and shouldn't travel. Is there any export duty on league leader shields? Are they are they precious metal? Do we know what they made of? And both both teams will have home semi finals, which again you would hope with the World Cup destined to go there mm-hmm. in twenty twenty five, with the likelihood that England are going to be sending men's, women's, and wheelchair teams to France this autumn to play some games. That you can build on it. The rebirth of French rugby. But what a dramatic last form! I, I, there can't be many games. Super where you've got three tries scored in four minutes against the best defence in the league. And, and and anybody can say, oh, St Helens just clocked off. They could have clocked off and still won that game 30-24. What the Dragons did was exceptional. And then Maloney's drop goal from 40 metres out, quite magnificent. Wolf out, though. Wolf out. Uh, Those sort of games you could watch all day, every day. You know what was disappointing was, because I was working, I couldn't see it live, I had to wait till half past midnight to see the highlights on Sky because they weren't on the Super League YouTube channel. I know that's nitpicking because everyone was there and I know they was working and I know they are busy and everything, but I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah. I want to see it. That, I mean, maybe I could have gone on Twitter to find it. I should, don't know. But yeah. I want to see it. should have been bombarded everywhere because it was something pretty special. It was. Um, Catalans, congratulations. They are the champions. <laughs>